Total Quality Management For your better understanding, we will break this term into three small segments, Total Quality and Management. So let us discuss the total term. The total is all processes or efforts and work done or inputs that are given to an organization by its employees from the lower level to the upper level known as the total. Quality You can understand this by an example. If you are a business owner and doing a production of some goods or providing some services as service provider, then what is the quality or amount of excellence that you are giving to your customers known as a quality? What good services or products you can give to your customers so that they are fully satisfied with you or your services called quality? Here we can move to the last term, management. This is a complete process in which you plan all the necessary steps which need to be followed by you or anyone to complete the execution of any operation. So after discussing all these terms, now we have a better understanding of what is total quality management. We can understand total quality management as a complete process. This is a set of well-organized and planned activities, which is done by all employees of any organization as well as bosses also and achieve the target which is set by the company's owner like giving good services, quality production, quality management, 100% customer satisfaction and so on in a given time period and also on a reasonable price, which is best for both company and customers. This whole process is known as total quality management. To better understand this process, let's take an example. Let us assume there is a person named John who started a company named Gesture. This is a perfume company that has a goal to create a new fragrance in the market so the company can attract more customers and achieve its target and generate good revenue. But on the other hand, its focus is on customer satisfaction also, most importantly how and why customer like the product and how he can promote his product so that he can attract more audience. This all systematic and arranged process known as total quality management, which is followed by John to grow his company. The top authorities do all calculations and give the result. So after understanding the term total quality management, we will discuss the main principles of total quality management. What is the principle of total quality management and how we can understand it in a much easier way? We can categorize it into six subcategories, customer satisfaction, total employee involvement, continuous improvement, strategic and systematic approach, integrated system, and fact-based decision-making. So here we will discuss all these terms in detail. Let us start, what is customer satisfaction? This is a very important term and initial step in any business process. When you start any type of product or service, you first decide who is your targeted audience, for whom you are working and give services. Once when you identify your audience, then you have to produce your goods or services according to their need, what they exactly want, and what the specific feature you are providing differently from others so that they choose you over others. There are some more small segments which are very important as providing any customer service like a good behavior because when you deal with customers, you have to be very careful about your behavior, your language, and all the informative term which you are explaining in front of your customer. When you are good at these things, then only the customer can give you an attentive response and choose you over others. Also, you have to provide the best services at the best price so that people that are attracted towards you or your product because you are giving them services in their pocket budget while others are providing their services at a very high cost and most important term, always take feedback and review from your customers so that you exactly can find out what is your product value among the customers and can improve your service and product quality. Also do a regular survey by which you can easily identify the changeable need of your customers and they can identify you as a first choice. Next, we will discuss what is total employee involvement. In this term, you have to understand the involvement of your employee in an organization and how they are engaging with their work, because if there is engagement, there is interest. And if they got interested in the work, the company will automatically start to grow because an employee performs a very important role in the development of any company. If an employee gives its full efficiency and work done to the organization, the company starts to grow and earn more, while if the employee is not like its work and do not want to work, his work is not as attractive and productive as it should be and by this company start to fall and faces losses because the employee is bricks of any company. Let us discuss further what continuous improvement is in this term. We cannot follow any specific pattern. We have to understand the need of the time and according to needs, you have to change the pattern of any work and also adopt new technology and new patterns by which you can learn new skills and grow more. Now the next one is the strategic and systematic approach. This is a very important step for succeeding any firm because when you have a complete plan and strategy, that is how you will provide service, whom you will provide assistance to, and who is your audience. When everything is based on proper planning and strategy, you can develop a good industry and easily achieve your target with your future visionary step. Here, we will discuss what is the integrated system. You can understand this term by an example. Let us assume you have bought a book, so there are many individuals section in the press house as the printing section, binding section, writer, 
machine operator, and many more. They work hard and work together to provide you your book. So total involvement of any organization to perform any task can understand as an integrated system. Now let us discuss the last one, which is fact-based decision-making. In this section, all the decision which is taken by company authority is based on fact and theories, is not taken by assumption. So this is also a very common and important step. If you come this far, then please consider liking the video for algorithm and subscribe to the channel. It helps me a lot. Moving on. Let us discuss what are the advantages of total quality management. First, improvement in company environment. In this section, we can understand it by when the company environment improves day by day, you can feel energetic and give your 100% to your work and give your bright ideas which are suitable for the company. Second, excellent customer satisfaction. It is also an important step because here we are calculating the customer's feedback by monitoring them through many online surveys and from the ground level, which also helps us to improve our quality. Third, the good public image of the enterprise. By this, we can create a good impression in public under TQM and by this company grow more and achieve its target. Fourth, help in checking non-productive activities and base by this, we can reduce non-productive activities and increase the productive activities and help to grow our organization and generate good revenue. Fifth, better personal relations. With the help of total quality management, we eliminate the product or services which will not be liked by our customers or the defective product, which creates a good relationship between the brand and customers, whether it's about the quality or service of the product. Our customers trust us, and that is the most important thing for any brand. So after discussing the advantage of total quality management, let's discuss its disadvantage, production disruption in this section. When we apply total quality management, we have to develop a training section also, where we can train our employees to work properly under total quality management. So until and unless we gave them training, our production stopped, and that's the disadvantage of total quality management. Employee resistance. Maybe company face employee disagreement because when we applied total quality management, employees have to work in a framed pattern, which may be not liked by many employees. Quality is expensive. After total quality management, the expenses of the company increase because we add some extra steps and provide them with proper training and strategize each and every single detail, which can increase our cost. Discourage creativity. After total quality management, you have to work in a pre-shaped frame which closes the opportunity for any new creativity because you are not allowed to work according to your wish. You are only allowed to work in the format that your company permits you to do. So this is all for today. Hope you liked the video. And if you liked the video, please do like and share our video and subscribe to our channel. Also, suggest the next topic on which you want the next video. Thank you.